Hi, I am Smoking Moses and today I'm here to speak about defects that you can detect only with your eyes. Stay with me. With this video, I want to go a little bit more in detail on defects, especially all the defects that you are able to detect only by seeing at the cigar. So, in other words, what can I say on a cigar only by seeing it? What do I see? What do I put my attention on it when I see a cigar? Well, first of all, I look at the color. We know that there are a lot of scale of brown, light, medium, dark. For sure, I'm not expecting to find a green or yellow shadow on the leaf of the wrapper. If I see them, it means that something was wrong in the drying process or in the fermentation process. And if they are green somehow, it means that there is still some chlorophyll inside the leaf. And the taste of the chlorophyll, well, it's not beautiful, it's fresh, it's herbaceous, it's, it's not the taste that you expect from a cigar. So if you see that there are these kind of uh, colors on the wrapper, be careful. And I'm not speaking about the real green wrapper. That wrapper is called Candela and there is a complete different process that produced that wrapper. That is a great wrapper with great aromas. I'm talking about those wrappers that are supposed to be brown, but they are not really brown. They are brown, green and yellow. It happens sometimes. Look at the cigar. If you see these shadows of green and yellow, be careful. There could be a problem in fermentation or in the drying process of the leaf. Then another aspect, if they are too dark, market now uh, is asking for very dark cigars, Maduro cigars, but the natural Maduro could arrive at a certain level of darkness. If you see a very dark, very black leaf, completely shiny, well, this is not really natural. Me, what I do usually when I see such a dark, black, shiny, oily wrappers, I always check if it is natural. I simply touch them with a wet finger and I check if some color remain on my finger. Sometimes it happens. So they, they use some color to make it more black than expected. So, this is not natural. I will not smoke a cigar that is painted. So, I checked before. Then, another thing that you see on a cigar is the quantity and type of veins that there are on it. Of course, different tobaccos have different kind of veins. I will never expect a Kentucky tobacco without veins. But, if I have in my hands a Connecticut tobacco, Connecticut leaf, and I see huge, big, thick veins, well, something was wrong probably in the production process. They do not remove completely the veins, and the thick vein could be a problem in, during the smoke because the combustion will be difficult when the vein has to burn because of the speedness, the speed of the, of the burning process of the vein is different from the speed of the rest of the tobacco. So maybe you have to relight it to correct. Well, could be a problem. So be careful of the veins. And when you see at the cigar, you are able not only to see the veins on the wrapper, you can also see the veins on the binder because maybe the wrapper is perfect, but you see below the wrapper, thick veins and they are from the binder. So, same problem. Be careful of the thick veins of your cigar. Then, damaged uh, wrapper. You are not able to recognize if it is only a damage on the surface, so only the wrapper, 
or if they damage the crack there. The damage is even in the binder. And if it is even in the binder, the draw will be awful because all the air will go through that rack and not through the cigar itself, so it will be a terrible smoke. Don't smoke a cigar that has a damage on the surface. And I'm not speaking about the damage on the foot, because in that particular circumstance, it means that probably the cigar was not uh, uh, put in cellophane, and during the shipping process, maybe it moves a little bit inside the box, and the foot is, break, is broken. Nobody cares, because when you light it, after a few minutes, the defect is gone. So that is not a big problem when the foot is damaged. The problem is when the head or in the middle of the cigar there is a damage. So be careful of that. Then another thing that I check before lighting the cigar, of course, is the, the foot itself. If I see that there is too much tobacco, overfilled, overpressed, I don't see any holes, any porosity, any way for the air to pass through the cigar. Even before cutting it, I can imagine that the draw will be difficult, will be a poor draw, because there is not, not enough space for the air to go through the cigar. And, the other hand, if, if it is overfilled, when you smoke it and when it burns, tobacco increases a bit of volume and then could be a break in the, in, the, in the first maybe third of the cigar, it will explode. I call them the exploding cigars because of this, because they break for the increasing of the volume. And that could be a problem in the draw, in the combustion, in everything. So be careful of the overfilled cigars and you can easily detach when you see them uh, from, the, from the foot. And then, last but not least, if you find that there are some holes in the surface of the wrapper, it means that probably the cigar has the bichon, so that, that small animal that eats the tobacco and creates galleries inside the cigar. The bichon could be inside the cigar, or maybe the animal is already dead, but who cares? He left in the cigar a lot of galleries, and when you try to smoke them, you don't know how many galleries, how many lackness of tobacco there is inside, and probably the draw will be too open and it will be a difficult smoke. So, be careful when you look at the cigar on these things. At least this is what I do when I have a cigar in my hand before lighting it. I hope it will help you having less problems during the smoke. So, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye from Smoking Moses. Ciao.